defense to go with Niall Logue. Yeah, Graham Smith at 6-3. In case you're just joining us, sent off to Ray Bay. Easy Saturday. Through more fouls than any other player through the entire match. So that's just uh, an idea of what he provides. wins the header and use epic insurance a proud partner of your Pittsburgh Riverhounds SC what a delivery <laughs> giving it right back to Memphis he had Memphis on the ropes yeah Cicerone really Lofted forward. Peter stepping in. Coach Bob Lilly certainly happy to have him back in the mix after Mertz was a key. Chip, choose what you play with at www.selectsportamerica.com. Select the league's choice. Looks around the league. Noticed Hartford after that, but only 31 additional points in the final 27 matches of the season. Though, John, Detroit City FC. Showing more life. Detroit has now scored in five straight road games in the league and 12 consecutive league games. Plays it short, Leston Paul. Paul serves it into the 18 and headed away. Toward the ball is and to, the goalkeeper. And to your point, if his view is blocked and he needs help from the AR to let him know as to what. Spectacular form at the end of the season to qualify for the playoffs. They won their last two regular season matches. Set a. Okay, you want to give me a cue of when we should go? Get the pacey attack going at all. Got near the box. Again, good effort, good read defensively. Challenge at midfield, won by Jelani Peters. Long ball in the air, tough to beat Peters. You don't want to really have those silly turnovers. Just Scoring assassins like Dane Kelly that much space, they're going to hit the target every time. Well, you have a player that his feet here inside his own six yard box, belts it up towards Machuca. He's beaten in the air by Jelani Peters in an unfair height battle there. The verbal thrashing that you'll pick up from it, the knowledge that'll come for the youngsters. Even though Shane Wheat's been around this game for like Bob Lilly's comments about Detroit. Jope and the support from Carl we met. Assuming that they were already tuned in. I would hope so. By the way, Pino does get bonuses for clean sheets, so that's your win as a defender, but it's the collective um, responsibility of the whole team. So now the touch pass Dequa and the big clearance to Ryan. Peters wins the header. Right in the black and yellow, Miami from right to left in the blue. They met earlier this year to a 2 2 draw. What do we have in store tonight? Opportunity for the River Hounds. It's a good header by Peters. over the top of Bilarabi. Two goals. We keep it first off. They were so good within the first 75, 80 minutes of this game because they had the ball. Ball driven to the center and it's headed away by Peters. This corner. Here it is, Bouchoir right into the danger area. Jelani Peters gets a header. Here's Eric Burdick. Felipe crossing this one deep looking for Dan Casey and it's cleared by Peters. Now to Raffanello. Flipped to the far post. And De Leon was lurking there, but Jelani Peters first to the header. Now served in, but all River Hounds in front of the target. Be your best for Memphis tonight. And I know that's tough with a 3 0 deficit. Lusa cranks that across. Header steered away, Peters. Some opportunities. Kecko whipping this ball in, looking for that back post a chance. And it's cleared by Pittsburgh and will trying to get space to get a shot with his left foot doesn't happen. 
drops it off to Roro, another corner. Lob up towards Alex Cornelli, headed away by Peters. Dia had her away. Altimus. And added extra that you're looking at and being happy about? Not in this situation, though. Gurr, right back, looking for Felipe. Play's gonna line this one up. Into the 18, can't connect with Loeb. Kiss you, dude. Dia squares it short. Perez whips it in. Here's Portillo. Delivers. Was looking for Kalen Ryden. It was Peters that cleared the danger away. He's come up through the midfield and then he peels off. Berg. Forbes curls this all the way into the back post, headed back centrally, Ordonez just wide. It was Peters to put that back centrally, and Ordonez wasn't far off. Danny Cruz is gonna have a fit once again. You're set up, everybody's there. Look at the mismatch. All the way on the backside. All six foot five of Jelani Peters rising up, and then look at the- Comes back out his direction. More height on this cross, and Matt Van Okel makes the stop against the header of Peters. Peters did really well and got a lot on that. He was challenged firmly by Alex Cronali, but just simply beat him to the ball, headed it firmly down, but straight at Matt Van Okel, who gladly holds on. Service soars upward, Peters! Referee says no. Just see the run itself from Shane Wheat. I thought he went straight up here. No, that's a good goal. I don't have an issue with it at all. The rest of the second half, Forbes delivers. Peters finishes. There's the insurance. It's been an adventure of a four minutes for Jelani Peters, and it's punctuated by a goal. 6-5 might not be fair enough in the program for Jelani Peters. The height on full display, almost unmarked. Just throws Bolu Akinyoti off with his left arm. Akinyoti knows it, hands to the head, can't believe it. It's a decent matchup on the inside, both big men, but the moment for the center back to get his first goal of the season. Last week, so <laughs> no film to review for Bob Lilly and company. <laughs> but you get a pit. I think you put that very well. Close hard, I think, is played on the ground. May oh, deflection, a header, a shot, and it's cleared away. Oh my god, that was. Peters battling Harris. Down here by two goals to one in this great game. 29 minutes played here at One Oak Field. Strong tackle coming in on Dario Suarez from Jelani Peters. Deemed fair by the referee. No. Eastern Conference finalist every single season. Here's Harris. Take advantage of their opportunities when they had goal scoring chances. Is this one of those chances? Well, sent forward for Sheldon to chase on this near side. Matt Sheldon beaten to it by Jelani Peters. That is some excellent recovery defending for Lucidi. And the post coming to their rescue again. Game possession under duress. And Steen making the run in behind, trying to out tool Peters. Dean speed. <laughs> Almost 90 degrees here in California. This ball's through as Martinez lets it go for Keko. Keko trying to cut it back. He's brought down in the box. Will stay on his feet. Try to. Just letting that ball run through as it's played by Roro. And Keko should be taking this with his left foot, tries to cut back, and it was a good recovery by Peters, I believe, who gets, a, gets his leg on that one. Oh. Side, Masoso, Lancaster, Masoso, corner. And this place is rocking. Jimenez, clearance, that gets out. He slides it over to Williams. 
Peters with the big clearance. Credit to your Pittsburgh Riverhounds on Saturday, July 16th to cheer the team on as they face New Mexico United at 9 p.m. Apologies between Akron and Pitt. Brett has that cleared away by Peters. Already tonight, squares it in the middle, nobody making that run. Peters, no nonsense defending there, gets it away from danger. Costa, very, very quiet, Anna. They have, I mean, they've kept really a lot of FC Tulsa's key Demeanor of their conversation with players in the fourth official. Ownby scoops it for Perez, that's a long run. Peters does have to see it out, though, just ran out of Long ball, sending Murphy forward. Won't be able to track it down before we get a whistle. And a foul on Murphy as Peters goes down. Sparrow sends it long. Peters. Miami has been on the right side of a score line like this this season against Charleston, and that happens to be their next opponent. Just one shot on target for both teams as this will run out of play once again. Facing the USL Championship here from One Oak Field. JJ Williams chasing with Jelani Peters. Two giants there physically. Jelani Peters shrugs him off. Clears, looking for the ball supplier of the USL Championship. Choose what you play with at SelectSportAmerica.com. Select League's Choice, Player's Choice. Tate doesn't get the call there. They, oh yeah, we think about it all the time and blah, 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 because it adds distractions within the locker room, right? But I promise you, conversations have been had. The thoughts that run rampant in your mind, you just have to find a way. Some space on that right hand side and a foul will be whistled. Peters doing very well there defensively to get his body in front. Still a lot, a lot of time left to play. They don't want to spend the whole off defending, but for sure. But you got an assist on that goal. Trying to play it forward to Martinez. Instead, it's intercepted there by Peters. I didn't think that, but we were talking about Serge Goma. Albert Dequa going down in a heap behind the play there. Dos Santos gambled. And Williams was able to win it temporarily, but unable to catch back up with it. Open Cup Championship. That is Sunday, September 18th at 5 on ESPN2. Here's Tejada. Again, sizing up his option. Goes for goal himself. That did take a turn. It will be a corner. And again, what you are seeing is Indy is, is getting some uncharacteristic mistakes from Pittsburgh here early. I got to tell you, the job that Peters did defensively on that play was absolute brilliance. Tejada wanted to put himself in a position to give himself an opportunity to go to goal and to have Arteaga on his right side. Peters jumped into the passing lane, took away Arteaga, and just gave uh, Tejada one option. That's so easy for your goalkeeper to be able to process. I don't have to put myself in two worlds. I can focus just on the shot. Robbie Mertz, by the way, the injured player down, and beautiful touch there both to get it to Tejada and then for Tejada to create some space. And there's the clinic on what Peters was able to do along the back line. Oh, there's to Costa, there's Williams, his Brown. Quickly into the challenge was Jelani Peters. Aravo goes to ground, keeps it in the attacking third for Legion FC. Will Lopez have a go? No. Martinez taken off it by Peters. Well, I don't know if it's directly associated with the club, but Spotted cow, can't go wrong. Spotted, I mean, that, that brewery in general. Um, New Glarus. New Glarus, that's right. They're fantastic. 
plenty of scoring opportunities. They take a lot of shots. It's just about finding ways to convert those shots into goals. And here's Hernandez. Going up against the 6-5 uh, Peters. Peters kicks it away from him. It'll be Toro's location of the Pittsburgh Riverhounds SC and Pittsburgh's home for Steak on a Stone. Meet me at Mike's. This in the first half. Dodson playing it forward. Can't get it to kiss you, dude. At the top of the diamond, you're looking to play, make, and build from there, but also you're stepping forward like Arteaga does in here and pushing your... Timmer the target. This could be a problem. Dequa. In the 76th minute. Angelo Kelly, midfielder in his first season with the Riverhounds, has spent the last four years with Charleston Battery. 90 appearances. Hounds looking for that advantage. Nice pass into the corner. There's the cross. Ball is played through Forbes. In one frame, but you talked about it, Dave. FC Tulsa looking really promising in the attack so far. Nil nil it remains. Four minutes gone here. A school with Orlando B team, and then four appearances and two goals. Add to that one more ball forward. Has to go to Jelani Peters. Peters will go over the top here. Headed in. That's right, Danny. And it was in with the midfield, referencing Rivera and Griffin. Griffin started deep, Rivera was hot. Had nearly a two and a half hour lightning delay. Getting started just goal. They've lost each of the first two times. That they get. <laughs> Waiting for that to hold up. Clear that up. They could be open off of that. We'll test how much that training has helped this group. Sags back defensively. Peters. For defensive shape here. Clean takeaway. Clean sheets, three of the five clean sheets for this Pittsburgh team. In fact, they came in tied for fourth with the five clean sheets. Leader is El Paso with seven. Here is uh, Pounds. Over to his teammate, that's Jelani Peters. Another player out of Trinidad and Tobago. Back to Peters here. Peters pretty tall, six foot five, 203 pounds. And Hernandez, by the way, back on the pitch now. Ultimately, they feel like they've had a good number of games where expected goals wise, they haven't, haven't really struggled and yet there was Wyke. Ball in early. Look at what Wyke did for that header from Fernandez. Just as the ball came to him, one touch and then whipped it in. And a little for these players. Jelani Peter has now handled that. Rocket of a pass as Forbes now finds the channel on the left. For players, as just opposed to some of that, those, I should say, insults that are thrown at you. Or at least that was thrown. You been to Omega Mart yet? Is this confession time where I admit I haven't <laughs> been to Mia Wolf in New Mexico yet either? Keys of Enter, 54 seconds in. Jamali Waite behind him. First pro season here with the Riverhounds. The goalkeeper resets things for the Riverhounds. Outletting it. Just about who's going to come to the fore and step up. Peters looking for Forbes. Cross comes in, it's spilled by Morton, but cleared away once again. Pittsburgh all over Louisville here, just the opening minute. But given how well you play in the opening 15 to 20 minutes, there's no reason you could head into this dressing room without a goal to show for it. First half, they were down to 62. Forbes back to the feet of Peters. Splitting pass to find Griffin. Griffin back to the feet of Jelani Peters. 
Griffin again, another solid turn. Hasn't been that conservative of a game. Both teams have created chances. Riverhounds have come down this right side and driven some great crosses through the six yard box. Top to Juan Agadello where he put it wide from about five yards out. So both teams probably fairly happy. Juan Agadello up top by himself. Sadiq Bilarbi coming wide left as more of a traditional wing. Find that killer scoring opportunity. Cicerone wanted it back, did not get it. Now eventually does Cicerone. You got to give a nod to the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Oh, That's a little checkup here by Jelani Peters. Told you. Here comes out. And Rafa will replace Malik Foster. Play him. As we mentioned, if you weren't able to catch us in the first half or you missed the quote. We're going to go by so quickly. It's going to feel like a flash if they're not able to get the goal that they're looking for. Pittsburgh started tonight in a back four. It looks much more like a back three right now. Peters. Johnny Peters down to E. Yang. That's, and all of a sudden you're asked to play an additional 30. There's just no way to prepare for it. You're late. Kelly over to the left hand side, which he is more than capable of doing traditionally if you move them out of but the card certainly makes sense the man from trinidad and tobago jelani peters can the big man keep this shootout going keep pittsburgh's hopes alive peters yes much as Charleston really haven't gotten the engine revved up here in this game, Pittsburgh have not quite done so either, although Peters picks the pass off and the end strikes for goal. And uh, Peters unleashed that one, but it was going wide. Gonna take this into the box, headed out by Cabessa, so then a shot over the bar. He was headed right to the foot of Peters. And he sent a rocket over the bar. Knock it down, and then Peters drives it forward. Fortified shell. Clever ball on the ground. Back heel in front. Saved off the line. That one's not going to be stopped. Jelani Peters have a night. His second, and Pittsburgh goes up three. After a movement like that from the Riverhounds, are you not entertained? How good is this? Having fun? Absolutely. The run to the near post, the back heel, that's planned for sure. The crack off wheat bounces back out. That's a center back. That is the best impression of Virgil van Dyke that you will see from Jelani Peters tonight. Of course. It's the second goal from your center back. The Trinidad native masterclass offensively. That's right, I said it.